Creating a pie chart is a little more complicated than the previous chart types that we've looked at because of the issue that I mentioned, which is that it is not um, possible to put a bunch of columns into one pie chart. So we ne either need to pick out a particular column that we want to plot, or we have to tell it that we want it to um, use a bunch of subplots. So let's see how we can manipulate our data um, a little bit in order to make this happen. So we're going to start with the CO2 sector data that we played with in the pandas exercises. We'll go ahead and uh, read those in and set the state column as the index. So here we see the data frame pretty much ready to go. So um, if we wanted to create a uh, plot that involved, say, only the data from Arizona, then we uh, could just basically pull out the data from the um, Arizona line by using a slice. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, the slice that we have is a pandas series, and that's great. We could definitely make a um, pie chart out of that, except that the pie chart would incl include this total value. And we don't really want that because all of the other categories will add up to the total. So if instead of just um, slicing uh, that, and leaving it, we can actually take the um, Panda series that we created and go ahead and slice it again so that we get only the commercial through transportation parts and leave out the total. So if we run this, we see we have the same uh, series except the series has, uh, has left off the total item. So now we are in a position where we could go ahead and tell it to carry out a plot with the kind equals pi. And we see that's a fairly straightforward um, uh, visualization. So what we, if we wanted to do some more um, work on the uh, doing multiple uh, plots, then it would probably be just as well to clean out uh, and get rid of some of the rows that we don't want. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to eliminate that total row that's at the bottom, because then I want to sort the states according to their total um, CO2 emissions so that I can look at what the sources are of the top emitting states. So I'm going to use ascending equals false so that I will get the, um, the biggest emitters of CO2 at the top. Let's go ahead and do that and see what we have. So here we see Texas through Louisiana are the top emitters. Now that we've done the sorting, we actually don't need this column total anymore. That's just going to interfere with the pie charts that we generate. So let's go ahead and drop the total column. Now we see we have the same data frame in order of emissions, but we no longer have the total column. So what I'm going to do now is take this data frame, which I've called decreasing, and just pull out the first three rows of the data frame. That gives me the top three states. Now I can, at this point, just feed that into uh, the plotting method. However, if I want to have the plots be with um, states as the separate plots and the uh, sectors as the segments in those plots, my data frame is in the wrong orientation. I need to have the states as the columns so that they will each be in a separate plot. And I want the sectors to be the rows so that those will be the pieces of the pie. So in order to do that, I'm going to take my um, uh, slice of the data frame and do the transpose operation on it. And then I'm able to go ahead and do the plot method. So I will say the kind of plot I want is uh, pi. And I'm going to tell it I want to have uh, subplots. It's actually kind of bad to put the legends in because each subplot will basically be having the same legend and it tends to overlap with the 
um, the, pl the pies themselves. You can try uh, allowing the legend and see what I mean about this. The other thing that I'm going to do is bump up the figure size. Since I'm doing um, multiple pies, I need to have enough room to see all of those. So if I go ahead and run this, I can now easily compare <clears throat> the sources of the CO2, the sector sources <clears throat> of the CO2 emissions from the three top states, Texas, California, and Florida. And we can see that they're actually quite different. The uh, transportation sector is um, the largest piece in California, whereas industrial is the highest in um, Texas and electric power in Florida. I suppose it's all those people running their air conditioners down there and all the people in California driving their cars. So um, this does give us a, a nice comparison feel. One of the things it does not do is to show us um, the absolute size of the CO2 emissions because these are just the, the fractions and not actually so the size of the pie pieces or the pies themselves don't have anything to do with the absolute number of emissions they have. So we'll create another plot later on that will give us a better feel for that. Um, alternatively, instead of operating on a slice that's the top three um, uh, CO2 emitting states, I could simply take my uh, data frame and slice it and, and specify a list of the columns that I want instead of just taking the first three. Then I can go ahead and do the transpose operation and the same kind of plot that I did before. So if I do this, now I can compare Texas, Alaska, and District of Columbia. I picked those out just because they're really quite different from each other. We see that Alaska the industrial segment is almost half of the CO2 emissions, whereas in Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, there are almost no industrial emissions, and the commercial piece of the pie is huge. So um, if you use a, a slice where you actually specify the column names, then you can pretty much pick out any states that you want. And if you um, wanted to add in an additional state, it would be relatively easy to just add it to the list and rerun that cell, and then you would have four plots instead of three.